Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, today we're going to be talking about multiplying and dividing integers. Now, with our adding and subtracting of integers, we did two separate lessons because the rules are slightly different. Um, with this particular lesson, with multiplying and dividing, the, the rules actually apply to both, which is really helpful. It's a little less to remember. Um, but now that we're going to be looking at all four operations, it, it can get rather confusing when kids start to combine um, all four operations together. So in this video, I do provide uh, a cool poster that I've used. Um, I have also have um, what's called a party hat method that my kids have really found helpful. So uh, feel free to use that when you're learning this. Uh, we'll go through a couple problems and uh, do some real world applications of it. And I hope you, you find it helpful. Uh, please remember to uh, subscribe below um, and leave any comments that you would like to see me do in the future. Thank you. Okay, here's so here's a poster that I created a couple years ago um, that I uh, really came up with on my own. Um, I will say it's, it's a little bit humorous in how it's uh, laid out. Um, and it also is a, a bit to remember, but if kids deal better with uh, scenario types of situations to remember rules, uh, this will work perfectly. So if we take a look here, the first one that we have is a good thing happened to a good person is good. So we have this little guy here. He's our nice guy. That's why he's a positive. He just won some money. So a, a positive times a positive or a positive divided by a positive will give us a positive result. All right, and then our second one here, we have a good thing happening to a bad person. So we see that the good thing is that they got a good report card, but this is a bad person. So that's not something that we're happy about. So uh, a positive multiplied or divided by a negative will give, give us a negative result. All right, and then the third here, which is more or less the same thing as this, it's just that we kind of have it backwards. A bad thing happened to a good person. So we see that this uh, person fell on our skateboard and it's somebody that we like. So that's a bad situation happened to uh, a good person. It's a negative result. So a negative times or divided by a positive will give us a negative result. All right, and then our last one, a bad thing. So we have the shark attack here. Happened to a bad person. Well, we think that that's good. I mean, this isn't always the, the most mindful way of thinking, but um, it helps us with our rules. So a negative multiplied or divided by a negative will give us a positive result. Okay, a more straightforward way to remember this is what we call our party hat rule. All right, so I found this a couple years ago as well, and I usually go with this rather than the poster I have in the back of the room. But we've all been to a birthday party where we have those hats, right? We have those little hats that we have to wear, and it looks like a triangle. So up here we have a little fun part of the hat, and there's little designs within. So I always ask my kids, what part of the hat do you find to be the most annoying? Well, they state that the bottom part, because of that rubber band or where the staples are, so you can think of these as the staples, are the more annoying part of the hat. Up top is our, t our positive part. All right, that's where all the fun takes place. So let's take a situation like this. A negative times a positive 4. Well, what you'll do is this. You'll cover up. Uh, we have a negative a negative two so we're going to cover that up here and we have a negative four or a positive four so we'll cover that up so with that we have eight is our result and if this is left that means it's got to be a negative eight all right okay so let's take a look here okay let's look at another one with division well i have a negative 16 so we'll cover up the negative I have a negative 2. So already I can tell that my answer has got to be a positive, and 16 divided by 2 is simply 8. And I tell my kids that they can write this right down on their paper or test or quiz because it's, it's a good resource to use. All right, so we're going to take a look at a real-world application problem here. So unlike the other two videos with adding and subtracting, it was pretty straightforward whether we were going to add or subtract. So now it looks like our options will either be to multiply or divide. So this reads, as Mike swam underwater, his elevation changed uniformly for four minutes. Altogether, it changed negative 20 feet. What was the change in elevation during each minute? So if we imagine that, you know, the kids should be more or less picturing this in their head that someone's underwater, okay? Um, we know that the change in elevation is going to be uniformly that each, each minute it's the same amount, okay, giving us a total of 20, foot, 20 feet. So if we think about it, and this doesn't have to be drawn accurately. The total is 20 feet, correct? All right. So each minute we have minute one, minute two, which is halfway, minute three, and then our total minute, 
minute four, all right? So it's negative 20 feet. We can see that this is gonna be a division problem. And if we revert back to our party hat method, well, we'll cover up one of these and one of these giving us a negative result, which is negative five feet. And if we were to check, we have five plus five plus negative five plus negative five. So all these are negative, which does give us the result of negative 20. So it's a good way for the kids to um, check their work. All right. And when we're talking about anything that's below sea level, uh, this is a geography type of, uh, I guess, lesson as well. Anything below sea level should be represented with a negative number. Okay, so that concludes, concludes our lesson on dividing and multiplying integers. Um, you can see that I have some really good techniques that'll work out. That party hat thing has seemed to be very successful with my students. Um, uh, as I said, it could get rather difficult when we start putting all four operations together, which I think I'm going to do in another video uh, in the future. Um, but let me know if there's anything that you're seeing issues with. I try to pro provide a, uh, a visual as we did with that swimming um, problem. Uh, it'll make it more helpful for me to uh, know like where your students or if you are a student where you're having the issues. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope it was helpful. Take care.